This is Nathan here. I wanted to do something a little bit different today. I wanted to just give you a little bit of an overview of my bike and what I've done to it. Uh, so this is a Monster A21. It's a 2015 model. And the biggest change I've made is the Competition Works exhaust. Um, I did another video on that, but you'll see it here and get a little bit of a close-up. Um, this thing definitely makes the bike. Uh, it's awesome. It makes it so much more aggressive. Uh, love it. Definitely recommend it. It's also not very expensive. Um, I think I got it like $450 shipped. So uh, no Ducati tax on that one. Um, another thing you'll notice, the, uh, the frame stickers are gone. It's definitely necessity and repping Ducati Austin. A uh, great group of, group of guys. I know some people that have traveled from Houston, Dallas, all over the place to come buy a bike from them. So, would definitely recommend it. Have the uh, Moto Dynamics tail tidy. So you can see that's cleaned up quite a bit. Uh, I really like this kit. Uh, I looked at a bunch and Moto Dynamics is definitely the lowest profile you can possibly get. I mean, at certain angles, that just completely disappears. Uh, I also have the Moto Dynamics integrated tail light. I'll try to do a little bit of a clip of that later when it's dark. When it's light, it's hard to see, but you can see this is smoked, and that's going to be my turn signal and brake light all in one unit. And it also will give a stop alert. So when you press either the front or rear brake, it'll flash three times before uh, it stays on full. Um, other than that, I have the what I call my uh, Rizoma Stunt Double. Um, this is actually the mirror from my last bike that got totaled. And uh, it's just a cheap eBay knockoff bar and mirror. Uh, I was using it on my last bike to kind of see if I like the position. And uh, I like it. So I'll probably get some Rizoma Spy R soon. This is just what I had. It was cheap. Um, you'll also see, I don't... Uh, I'll show it in another video, but this is my uh, wrist strap for my Drift Ghost S. Uh, this button you can use to start recording and start tagging. Uh, this is for stop recording if you're recording, or it'll switch modes if you're not recording. Um, I also have my keyport slide. I'll put a link in the description for this thing. I'll put a link for everything, but this is awesome. So this is my monster key here, uh, my mail key my house key, and on the back side, my key for work. Unfortunately, I have to get this stupid dongle for uh, to open the door at work, otherwise it would just be one small little thing. It's about the size of a TikTok uh, box. So, I really like this, it's great. Um, obviously, took off the uh, stock mirrors when I put the bar ends on, and I think that is it for this bike so far. Um, plans, I'd really like to get a set of rear sets. Because um, as you'll notice, this right here, which is what a lot of people complain about, is kind of right on your foot. I talked about this in my video, but you can actually see I'm starting to, to wear it out a little bit. I've seen some where it's just completely um, silver. All the, the finish has been worn off. So I expect that to happen if you can see it there. Um, overall, not a huge deal. I've gotten used to it. Uh, really love this bike. It's so much better than the 696 I had before. Uh, so it's a fantastic bike. I'd recommend it to anybody. Um, maybe not if you're just getting started and you're not really used to bikes, but uh, overall, it's awesome. This is my bike. If you have any questions or want me to do instruction videos on how to install everything, uh, I'm going to do one for the uh, Competition Works exhaust. That was already requested a couple times before. And I'll probably go into the Competition Works uh, tail light a little bit more in detail later. Um, I also need to install an update for that. So uh, check out those soon. And thanks, guys. See you later.